Luckily the North Korean army came and saved everybody. The North uses this as a scapegoat of their modern miseries. Just like the Zionist movement uses the Holocaust to dominate the crazy Palestinian independence. Let us still take flowers to the dead. Whoever killed them. Yes, we shall now enter a North Korean theme park. Uh, can't take the lift, uh, they're repairing. Uh, want to throw basketball? Want to throw American soldier? Oh look, nice feel in the middle. Arcade? Want to go? Sadly our travel insurance won't probably cover that. Oh look, there's the biggest water park in North Korea. The demilitarized zone is definitely missing the D in it. It is 248 kilometers long and 4 kilometers wide. It was established after the war on the 38th parallel. This was the only divided map of the Koreas that we saw. The North Koreans are eagerly waiting to be united with the South. The comparison of the two Germanys is a bad one. The mental and the economical gap are unimaginable. And the threats of North Korea to level the South to dust don't really help either. After the Japanese were defeated, the country was initially divided at the 38th parallel. North Korea attacked first in 1951, although the South was planning to do the same. The North took control almost all of the peninsula quite fast. In the absence of USSR, the UN was dragged into the war with American lead. The US were not initially well prepared. Douglas MacArthur came into rescue and a landing in Incheon, softened by napalm, was an initial success.
the north was pushed over the 38th again. Then the UN continued the war becoming the aggressor and invading Pyongyang. This awakened the Red Dragon. The massive Chinese troops pushed the UN troops back over the 38th again. At this point MacArthur wanted new king and full-scale war on China, but was luckily dismissed by Truman. Another two years of fighting continued, and in 1953 a ceasefire was agreed. Only four inches of concrete separates the two. But one must remember that they're still at war officially. And the fear continues as there is no resolve. This is uh, Pueblo, the spaceship uh, came to the, our boundaries, yes. came over the, on the boundaries and uh, do the uh, spy activity. In 68, North sees USS Pueblo and the tensions heightened since the war. The relationship between the US has definitely been a roller coaster. Currently the US is aiding North Korea with fuel with many other nations in exchange for denuclearization. Lieutenant Junior Great, Frederick Carl Schumacher, Operation. Here 12 automatic weapons and pistols and many ammunition. So these holes were made by splinters of a shell okay. on our ship. So when we captured this ship... The DPRK is still quite suspicious and willing to spread sometimes even confusing messages about the Americans. At some museums we are given full-blown hate, and elsewhere are told that even the Americans visit the great DPRK in peace. The antagonism could be greatly reduced by the North opening its borders. The US is not completely innocent, as calling a nation an axis of evil will probably not help. The great movie studios outside Pyongyang. Let us first gather all the small children into lines. And then we need to bow to the president. Kim Jong-il wanted to become a movie director before becoming a dictator. And he has directed some propaganda movies. <laughs> movies have always been used a form of propaganda. And the North Koreans are no exception. The Chinese quarters are pre-war. But we did not get to see behind this wall. Then entering the imperial Japanese quarter. They still have great antagonism for the Japanese colonial times. We see that the Japanese like their beer. And the women are promiscuous. Oh look, someone's living inside the movie buildings.